Hey, what's going on guys? I'm coming to you today with the Protectorate Starfighter Expansion Pack Unboxing. This is from X-Wings Wave 9, and these are your Mandalorian fighters that we've seen in Star Wars Rebels, and we're gonna crank this sucker open. I did already cut open the back, uh, just so you don't have to watch me with an X-Acto knife. I already cut myself once, and I don't want to do that anymore. Um, so here is the ship, and of course this is the back of it. And, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty. It's very pretty. It's larger than the uh, M3A. Sick. Larger than that, although it's kind of similar in uh, structure. I love the paint job on this thing. I like the colors. I like the white and blue. Here's the bottom. Very sleek. Very aerodynamic. Very awesome. I like this ship. I like this ship a lot. As a matter of fact, out of all the ships in this wave, I think this is the first one that I'll get multiples of. I used to buy at least two of everything right away, and now I'm sticking with just one of everything because I've, there's so many more products out there. So, all right, here's the cardboard, and um, this is basically our, our maneuver dials there. We've got uh, just the hard hard ones, so it's very similar to its high fighter, except we've got Talon Roll 2s, which is very cool. we got all our 3s, all our 2s. Um, 4K turn and two talent rolls, so a lot of options. Very maneuverable, but also very fast because we don't have very much for, in the way of ones. Although the hard one is actually a fantastic move, so I'm grateful for that. Uh, all right, I know here we've got. Now one thing about this is it comes with six pilots. So there we go. We've got Fen Rao, Old Terok, uh, Cad Solus, and then. Uh, Concordon Ace, Concordon uh, Veteran, and Zealous Recruit. All right, now this is the only ship in this wave that cannot, um, you know, shoot out of arc. But let's uh, let's ignore that and look at the pilot cards here. Because this guy is this this whole ship is all about getting in close, facing the enemy, and going for it. So. Here's the ship, it's alright, we're gonna start with Fenrir, he's the highest pilot. First off, the ship has, you know, three attack, three evade, uh, four hull, zero shields. So kind of like an interceptor, but definitely um, a, a little more powerful as far as uh, having a little more hull. Uh, also a little more costly, your cheapest interceptor is 18 and uh, your cheapest uh, guy here is 20. So you're paying two points for that hull, which isn't terribly bad. And it also gives you, you have the option to take a torpedo, which is... Interesting for a three attack ship. Usually you don't want to do that, but maybe. All right, so we'll start with Fen Rao here. He's, he's the new super ace of uh, the Scum and Villainy faction. When attacking or defending, if the enemy ship is at range one, you may roll one additional die. So that's fantastic. That gives you five dice at range one. Uh, we've seen this kind of before in the Scum faction, a similar mechanic with, uh, you know, with your, um, the Kirax fighter, but uh, Fen Rao looks very, very nice and can have the EPT, and of course he can boost and barrel roll to help make sure that his enemy is at range 1. So he's got a lot of tools, even by himself, at 28 points. And that's a good price for a PS9. 28 points is not half bad. Old Terok, 26 points. Uh, at the start of the combat phase, you may choose one enemy ship at range 1. If you are inside its firing arc, it discards all focus and evade tokens. Now this guy is terribly amazing and I love it I love it I love it this is like the the, the really nice potential counter for dingaroo you know right? uh, give him he would he'd be a great uh, a great candidate for uh, for veteran instincts love I love this I love this guy all right cad Solus. after you execute a red maneuver assign two focus tokens to your ship that's just fantastic and he's got several options for red maneuvers too so, uh, very cool. And he also has the EPT. Alright, now we've gotten some generics. It's nice having generic aces that can take the EPT at pilot skill 5. But only 23 points, too. That's not bad. This guy might be a fantastic guy to use. Alright, now we've got a, um, a PS3. Oh, he's also got an EPT. I didn't realize that this guy also had the EPT. Uh, for only 22 points. So one point cheaper, you lose two more pilot skill. But if this is the, one of the cheapest EPT slots I've ever seen so uh or rather the lowest lowest pilot skill with an ept i've ever seen so very cool and then our ps1 which we already kind of looked at briefly six pilots in this guys we don't have a whole lot of upgrades but we do get um we get the title 
And this is a one point title. So this was, you know, anytime a title is zero points, it's usually an auto include, but this one actually costs an extra point. So um, when defending, if you are inside the attacker's firing arc and at range one of, and the attacker is inside your firing arc, add an evade result. So basically, if you guys are facing each other at range one, uh, then you get to add, you know, it's a harder for them to kill you. And that's just adding the results. So you can, you know, you can roll, uh, you can have four evades. That's me. You don't have the evade uh, ability, but uh, that's that's really, really good. And, that's, and, and this is just fantastic for a ship that has boost and barrel roll already, so you're a lot more likely to put yourself in that position. Uh, and now we do have the EPT, since almost everybody in this expansion has an EPT. Uh, we have Fearlessness. When attacking, if you are inside the defender's firing arc at range 1, and the defender is inside your firing arc, you may add a hit to your roll. So basically, adding both of these gives you a lot. Now, <laughs> like, like Fearlessness on Fen Rao... You know, let's say you put both of these on Fen Rao. Here's a guy now that can easily just position and, and put himself in range one of you. He can, um, he can, he can roll four evades when you shoot him, and he can roll a, uh, five dice and add add, you know, add that too. So he can be having six attack potentially. Uh, he can hit you for six damage. You know, and that's just that's just monster. That's just insane. I love it. So. Um, yeah, there are not a whole lot of cards in this expansion, but this was the Protectorate Starfighter unboxing. Um, this will be a really fun swarm ship. This will be a really fun, like a mini swarm. Just fly like three or four of these guys and uh, and wreck faces, man. That's just... I mean, like four of them with fearlessness? Oh, man, just forget it. You'd, you'd have to stay out of these guys as range one. you got to kill them from a distance. If you're at a distance, though, that's their weakness, I think. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, go ahead and leave me a like and a comment and let me know what else you want to see. Uh, I have more unboxings and all kinds of new uh, news related to X-Wing and Armada and uh, other Star Wars games and either some other, even some other stuff sometimes. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.